Salvete omnes, this is Amy Mealy, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. In the last episode, we beat Bowser Jr. for the second time, and moved on to World 7, the Sky World. Which is what World 7 always seems to be, at least in the New Super Mario Bros. games. So let's see what's, what awaits us in 7-1. Basically, this is just an entire world full of athletic levels. Or at least athletic adjacent levels. I actually don't remember much about it, to be honest. But yeah, we're already starting things off with this music. It's a bit of a shame that the Sky Worlds don't really get their own theme. It's almost like they're just reusing one that already existed. But yeah, the gimmick here seems to be a lot of big, tilting platforms. I shan't repeat myself about how possible this would be on the Super Nintendo. But, I don't know, I like moving platforms. There's a lot of things you can do with them. Hmm. I don't suppose that... Okay, that piranha plant is not guarding anything, and I just lost a power-up for nothing. You know, I haven't seen a star coin yet. I did see coins on the other side of this. Waiting, waiting. It's probably just coins, but just in case there's actually something there. Besides coins. Like the kind of coins with the star in the middle, you know. Just coins, okay, and I already have... Ah, oh, there's a, there's the star coin. And it's the first one, good. I keep expecting something to be hidden in some of these pipes. Surprising the number of pipes in this level, actually. You know, I was, here I was trying to remember how many instances there actually were of athletic levels in Mario games that had pipes in them, because that's what I was gonna, or the theme I was gonna use for 6C in my hack. Well, I was just about to say it's nothing we can't handle, but apparently it is something we can't handle. Well, the checkpoint wasn't too far away. Be very careful when jumping up to get coins. And, and when sneaking past piranha plants. Oh look, we have 99 lives again. That's a little bit tricky, I suppose. Wonder how they handle the timing on all of these. I don't know, but we missed part of the level. Hello, Dancing Koopas. Boy, was that bad timing. Okay, here we are. See, this is why I make my bonus rooms come out at roughly the same spot that you go in them. Dang it, I keep almost overshooting my jumps here. Is there anything in here? You know, it would be funny if... If the block were sideways, and it had a power-up in it, if the power-up uh, power came out sideways, too. Hmm. That doesn't look like a pipe that the game would want me to go in. Yeah, the platforming is definitely getting trickier. Okay, there's the third star coin, and I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have a secret exit, so... That's all we need to do. Be patient, I suppose. I may be overusing the spin. We're also running out of time, but I'm pretty sure that's basically the end of the level, so... Uh-oh. Hmm. Is that small Mario discrimination right there? 
I can get that, right? Or I can get dead. That also works. Dang, five minutes in and I haven't even beaten the level yet. And we know where the second coin is. And we know where the third one is. You know, for someone who generally doesn't like a lot of having a lot of things to collect in video games, I almost wish there were more, more potential like rewards for exploration than just star coins, lives, and secret exits. Because like there aren't that many secret exits, and there are only three star coins per level. Oh! <laughs> 
You know what they need to bring back? The chainsaws from Cheesebridge area. I mean, I guess there's nothing that special about them. They're kind of just a fuzzy with a taller hitbox. I guess these days they just use bigger fuzzies. That is a lot of different platforms and I... Okay. Um... <laughs> Whatever I was supposed to do there, that is not it. Can I get another power-up, please? This spot clearly confuses my smooth brain or something. And I jumped on a fuzzy. Good job. Let's try that again? <laughs> this time with no helicopter suit. Well, it's not like I was making good use of it anyway. The instinct to immediately jump up to those blue mushrooms. Okay, let's camp out on the left side here where... Helicopter suit. And I'm probably... Okay, got it. And I lost it again. Fancy that. Is that all? I almost landed on the fuzzies again. Why is everything in this level so fast? Is that really all that's here? Just some coins? How about this flower here? Aha! Feels like it's been a bit since we've had one of these. And if I don't screw up my jumping, maybe I can make up for that lost life earlier. Almost 98 out of 100. Out of 100.
So I guess this is sort of another one of those, um, avoid things on a platform type of levels, but I feel like this one's way more interesting than 5-4, or especially 6-6. Six, six. Big boy. I mean, new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Yay, I killed one fuzzy. And I need to get my platform back. Well, that is not the way you're supposed to do that, but I got all the star coins, so whatever. Oh yeah, Mario did three levels, and actually this is where we're going to call it, because there are nine levels in this world, and we've already been here for long enough that I thought it might be a good idea to split this one up into three. So, we'll worry about Ludwig's Fortress next time. See you then!